we appreciate you. Today, that devil that carried the knife in pursuit, that agent from the pit of hell, that spirit of vengeance from wherever they came from, from your father's house, vengeance from ancestral power, switchcraft power, that's right. That spirit of bitterness, envy, competitive jealousy that is after your life and after your destiny. I declare today they are arrested in the name of Jesus. Every grave they dug for you. Those who dug it shall be buried in some. Powers of wickedness, forces of darkness after your life. After your destiny, today is your end. Shabalasta, leke teke bagada galaga yagada da, leke perana gaga yada husari, le peretina gaga yala huratona noma, le to perone gaga yala la huratasani, le te seperi gaga la la. Every devil that tempered with your favor, tempered with your glory, tempered with your star. I declare today they are arrested in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral generational family altar that is battling with your peace and battling with your joy. Now shut up. Today is the end of it. I see someone you have lost so much peace and so much joy and almost at the verge of harming yourself. See pressure on your mind. I declare that pressure is over right now in the name of Jesus. Self harm, self mutilation. Today marks the end of that agenda of hell. I see a name like an, that with an N like a Nicole, an A like an Amanda. And it looks like they are related. A sister, some mother, and daughter something I arrest that satanic spirit of manipulation I arrest the force of witchcraft I arrest that devil that's trying to control your behavior I arrest that devil of frustration and failure and everyone anywhere you are around the world the spirit of manipulation that is trying to steal your joy and steal your peace and control your behavior I arrest that devil and send him back into hell in the name of Jesus. The chest condition is healed. Whoever you are. The demonic razor marks on your hand. I declare them on your body. I, but, I, but particularly on your hand. And on your right hand. I declare that witchcraft mark. Return back to hell. Everyone that is a victim. You sleep in the night. You wake up in the morning. And you find your body caught. And you are wondering when did I cut myself. I take authority over that witchcraft attack. It is over. I am speaking to somebody here, it ended before. And the devil started to decided to bring it back again within the last 24 hours. I arrested now. I speak to everyone here today. You overcame something before, and the devil is trying to return it back, trying to bring back your symptom, trying to bring back the bondage, trying to bring back the challenge. Tonight, God is giving you the sign that it is over forever. The Bible said, affliction shall not rise up a second time. One of those persons that was eating the things that shouldn't be eaten. It left, but the devil trying to bring the craving. Today I declare it arrested. Craving for marijuana trying to return back. I declare it arrested. In the name, you are feeling like returning back to prostitution. I arrest that devil in the name of Jesus. The deafness is healed. The right eye is healed. Someone with O, G, and D in the name. Whether they are initials or inside a name. Wow, Kazanaki, Leo Sebarana, Kakalagayatasatalala. 
that thing that the devil is trying to snatch from your hand i declare it return back to you in the name of jesus that thing the devil is trying to snatch from your hand i declare return back i see a contention it's returned back to you in the name of jesus and you will not be a victim of start without finishing what you start you shall finish and i speak to everyone here everything that you have you are contending with the devil or somebody struggling with with you today i declare the contention is over under the next two days it will be clear that it is yours somebody is receiving restoration of kidney function somebody is receiving the restoration of the healing of inner challenge pain and bleeding coming out of the anus in the name of jesus Lacosa. somebody is being delivered from anti-marital spell that devil is come up, is, is upon you asking you to drive your wife i bind that devil i bind that devil i bind that devil the wife of your youth the wife you love so much you favored her so much you loved each other so much until a demonic agent said that woman is enjoying her husband too much and they sent a wild wind and it's manipulating you without your notice just think back a little from where you married and when things changed without nothing i command restoration right now restoration right now in the name of jesus that devil that is coming upon that woman asking you to pack your load and leave your husband's house it's an anti-marital force from your house i declare that anti now if you check the marriages in your family you realize that they are either not stable or they are not there i declare today that force is broken even the one i'm talking about had that razor cut i told i just mentioned that razor cut in the dream of the night and you woke up and you saw yourself caught the, the person i'm talking about struggling to pack out of that marital destiny today i declare your restoration now in the name of jesus lift your hands somebody and say in the name of jesus i refuse every manipulation of the devil on my mind in the name of jesus stretch your two hands in front of you everybody i prophesy every everything that belongs to your hands this new day it shall enter your hands because there is a wild wind i saw that was blowing the resources of somebody away what is meant to enter your hands before it touched it is blown away then someone else once the thing enters your hand you don't know what you did with it whether it is one hundred thousand or 100 million or 10 million you don't know what you did with it and it has disappeared that wild wind that the devil sent you away all the time to blow away your resources to blow what is coming and to blow what has entered i arrest that wild wind i set it back to hell in the name of jesus as a sign to you before one week is over something will enter your hands substantially and that which will enter you will be able to hold it and account for it i take authority over water spirits serpent spirits spirit husbands spirits of diversion spirits of impersonation labor without reward today marks the end of it forever i hear a name that has a g and has an r and a k like a garrick i don't know if it's a garrick or a garrick or something something like that i, I, I haven't heard it i don't know the name but may, in that category i am mentioning that while with that that labor without reward, that diversion of of resources i declare it is arrested you believe that shout the loudest amen i see somebody who has been dealing with vehicles buying and selling of cars and you have been in that job for years but there is nothing to show for it Today, I take authority. I declare that ancestral family altar that is rendering you empty-handed is arrested. And whatever business you've been doing, and you are involved in that business for years, but there is nothing to show for it. People you are in the same business with, that you have even trained, or who have learned from you, are much bigger than you today the embargo is lifted the yoke is broken among this category of people i speak to a g name from the north central up today your glory is returned you've been like a shadow of yourself your glory 
is returned in the name of Jesus. That person that the devil placed on the bicycle, I declare that bicycle is set on fire. Hey! Everyone that the devil has sentenced to slow speed and slow motion in life, on your mask, get set, run! Fly into your destiny. That's right. See people running and running and running here. Fly into your destiny. Bicycle is not your portion. Fly. They that wait on the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as wings. Lick a pataka like wings as eagles. Go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. The, God, the Lord is crushing kidney stone from gout, I believe. Gouty arthritis. Right now, and I think that there, uh, there's a left knee affliction that is currently on with the same person with the gouty arthritis. I declare every kidney stone, gallbladder stone, every form of stone in your system, they are flushed out of your system now. I arrest. I saw, the Bible, I saw in the Bible that there's a spirit of wisdom. And I'm just hearing tonight about the spirit of foolishness. Yes. So I'm thinking spirit of foolishness. And I realize. Yes, be it not over much foolish. It's a spirit of foolishness. Because if there is light, there is darkness. If there is wisdom, there is foolishness. If there is a spirit of wisdom, there is a spirit of foolishness. This is the symptom, signs and symptom. You make very terrible steps. Regrettable moves. What came upon me? You made a decision. And then on that another 60 seconds, you realize that you made a terrible decision. And you are asking yourself, what came upon me? How can I in my senses take such a step? Is the spirit of foolishness. The Lord is showing me. You've made such regrettable decisions. Many, many, many times. Someone this year alone, you made up to five steps. That you start as, am I the one that did this? Did I take this action? I now stand against the spirit of foolishness. Even as I speak, there is somebody with a child who is about 12 years old that is behaving with the brain of a child of about 5 years old. The juniors are wiser than that child. I take, lay the hands on that child wherever they are, on their bed, wherever now. I take authority over that spirit of foolishness. I arrest it, send it back to hell in the name of Jesus. From this moment forward, at wise decisions by the Spirit of the Lord is your portion. Someone is being delivered from the spirit of defamation, slander, accusation, stirred up against your life, is nullified today by the blood of Jesus. Jehovah vindicates you. Spirit of accusation, vilification, vilification, defamation, slander. Ja! is coming from a bitter spirit it's coming from an envy spirit envious spirit but Jehovah steps in and sets you free somebody whose name means God's own in vernacular name is in vernacular means God's own there is a contention over your life the devil is fighting your life the devil is trying to claim you he's trying to do the opposite of that name today I declare the yoke is broken you have a forehead affliction the person I mentioned it you are free I'm speaking also to somebody else with a depressed forehead I see depressed forehead and the devil has tried to, to disfigure your life and your destiny. Uh, uh, today, God shall visit you, touch you, and change your story in the name of Jesus Christ. And the world and your world shall see you as God sees you. Staphylococcus aureus that has occasioned low spend camp. I declare it dead now struggled for treatment also lady battling with staph aureus infection I cause it to his roots go to the lab today it will be confirmed that that devil that could not be cleared out by medication is cleared out forever in the name of Jesus Christ he matched the right leg on the on charm or something that charm is retrieved and Return back to hell. Somebody whose name is R-U-N. 
has an S E at the end. I don't know. I believe it's a part of a, a, a full name. Are you like Ron and then S E? Jacob Akala Katasida, Repe Koza Galatasi, Rakata Kala Kurakotaluda, Jorata Kakala. Wherever the devil tied down your life and tied down your destiny, the rope is loose right now. Hey! Anyone that is tied down, tied down in life, tied down financially, tied down job wise, tied down academically, tied down spiritually, the yoke is broken. What I hear for somebody now is congratulation. Hey! Whatever will make people to congratulate you is happening right now. If you are around with anybody around you in this prayer at this time, just congratulate them. Just shake hands with somebody. Oh my God, I tell you, congratulate yourself. Congratulations. Because something that is congratulation worthy is happening in your life is congratulation worthy. You shall return back today. Hallelujah. Before we close, and I make a declaration. We had the most brutal program in Port Harcourt. Take a look at it so that I can receive a final release. The Jesus shall give the Lord a clap offering as we receive our mother in the faith, God's hand made in Dr. Mrs. Becky Paul and Angel. Rima says, are you ready for divine visitation? He's glorious in this place. That glory. It's going to give you a change of story. You couldn't bend like this. Can you do that now? Can you do that? Hey! Do, do what I do. Somebody with an arthritis on the knee. The knee just got healed. For three years she had this crippling arthritis of both knee joints. Somebody slapped her in the dream of the night. Last year. Last year. And she couldn't see. And she became blinded. That's two years now. I tested her. And now she's she seen. She will repeat what I was doing. Seven years? Yes, you couldn't see it. Two eyes? Yes. Who came with her? Follow me. It should look for nine million to handle. It's a noted congenital heart disease that needs open heart surgery. And that symptom disappeared from the right for which breast? From the left breast. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of it. in need of surrender to Jesus today say it after me Lord Jesus I need you in my life as I pour this oil on this ground I decree that the fire of, of judgment will go to the land of Port River, River State through the 23 local governments I declare that River State shall be covered with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas Hallelujah this was how explosive it was in Port Harcourt last week, Thursday and Friday, just three or four days ago. London, England, get ready. Nairobi, Kenya, get ready. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, get ready. Kaduna, Nigeria, here, get ready. And just, just get ready. Hallelujah. And everything that God did on this altar in Port Harcourt and from this altar is happening for you. You sleep with expectation tonight and you wake up with revelation. Tomorrow or today is new opening. Do you remember it yesterday? I said we are meant to step into a new opening. A new opening. God is opening something new. But then I saw that man with a knife running, pursuing somebody. And we decided to do the judgment first. So tomorrow night, Something new is opening in your life. Don't fail to let the world know. If we have millions upon millions joining from all platforms, have the Dynamics TV, the YouTube, and all of that, millions around the world, we are in a season where God is showing that He is real. Hallelujah. God bless you. Everyone in need of surrender to Jesus, you pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of, you, of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. 
Forward never, backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's know you pray that prayer. I will be glad to talk with you. To everyone else, stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands. I declare the harvest shall look for you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. Systems are put under pressure. The loose piece and slip and rest until what is yours enters your hands. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say loud amen. Somebody say new openings. Say new doors. New doors. Say I'm stepping into new doors today. Come with that expectation and the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. Go on ahead and honor God with your offerings and substance. And let's celebrate. Don't forget to send your testimonies. Remember the man said it was good to testify. Send your testimonies. Whether you hear them read or not, just send your testimonies. Let God know you have sent them. God bless you.